everybody. This is Jen from Guard Jen's Journey. Today I'm doing another uh, trial and triumph video. I haven't done one in a while. And uh, I figured I would just share some of the trials that I'm going through and uh, how I'm working through them. And that it might be an encouragement to somebody else who is dealing with something similar. So what I deal with um, is a couple of different health issues um, that uh, really get in the way of me being able to function um, in the way that um, most people can function on a daily basis. Um, I have uh, vestibular migraines that I get uh, every once in a while. Uh, depending on the weather or things, um, I could get uh, as many as two or three a month to maybe one every three or four months, um, but they're very debilitating. Uh, what vestibular migraines are, uh, they are different than a regular migraine in that uh, in, instead of so much uh, pain that a regular migraine has, um, I have dizzy spells, um, really, really bad dizzy spells, and uh, it lays me out. I can't get up out of bed um, without falling over or getting sick. It's that bad. Um, and sometimes they'll last a day, sometimes they'll last three days. Um, so those can be very debilitating and really just set me back as far as being able to do anything around the house um, chore-wise. So that's one of the things I deal with. Um, they're trying to fi figure out uh, what might be some triggers. Um, they also have me take um, some uh, antiverts uh, when I have those disease spells to try to um, get them to stop. Um, but that's a hit or miss treatment uh, with these things. Um, but anyways, that's just one of the things I deal with. Uh, another thing that I deal with is um, I have problems with my shoulder. Um, it, I had surgery on about seven years ago and uh, last uh, couple years now it's really been bothering me where it, it tends to hurt really bad or if it doesn't just hurt um, it gets numb and achy and where I actually can't use my arm. So that uh, throws me back a little bit because it's actually my dominant hand. And so trying to do things that I normally would do with my dominant hand um, tends to be a little difficult. Trying to do things that require two arms tend to be difficult. Um, so sometimes that's a real bummer. But the biggest thing that I've been dealing with um, for a while now um, is one of two things or a combination of the doctors are still trying to figure it out it's one of those things that um, really is very hard to figure out if they can figure it out at all it's just this is what you have and they will deal with it kind of like this so and that would be uh, I deal with fibromyalgia and or chronic fatigue syndrome now you can Google those and do your research and see exactly what encompasses those disorders. Um, but I will give you kind of a synopsis of, of what it is, what I deal with on a daily basis. Um, chronic fatigue syndrome and fibromyalgia have very similar symptoms. Um, you deal with um, chronic pain and inflammation in your joints and in your tissues. Um, you know, the pain degree varies from person to person. Um, you deal with uh, being constantly tired, um, near exhaustion um, from the inflammation or just not getting adequate rest for whatever reason. Um, irritability comes along with that because you're not getting rest so your, your brain is not getting rest and so your emotions are not regulated well. Um, and then there's some other things that go along with that. Um, Chronic fatigue syndrome, one of the characteristics of it is um, no matter how much you rest, no matter how good of a night's sleep that you get or a nice long nap you take, it doesn't rejuvenate your body. You're still really tired, really exhausted, and um, the quality of life isn't the best um, because you can only be up for so long. And then you have to sit down or lay down or whatever for an extended period of time 
for your body to recuperate enough for you to be able to get up and do things again. And for me, my maximum time of staying up on my feet doing something is maximum an hour. Usually I can't go past a half an hour without having to uh, sit down and rest and take a break. And some people might think that that's not a bad thing, you know, to take a break every half an hour, hour or so. Um, but it's not just taking a break. It's I'm purely exhausted, worn out. Um, so it's very hard to um, get my everyday chores done, uh, to do dishes or the laundry, clean the bathroom, sweep, mop, you know, typical chores that um, people around the house do. Um, it's very hard for me to get done. Um, I do my best, but there are times that um, I just can't get it done. I've worn myself out too much. Sometimes I wear myself out so bad that for the next day and a half, I have to do nothing but sit on my butt and recuperate because I'm so worn out. So that's been challenging for me um, because I feel like a burden. Um, I'm supposed to be getting these chores, these household chores done while my men folk go out and work and pay the bills. Um, but I'm not able to do that. So not only do they have to go out and work and uh, put in a, a lot of time and energy and stuff where they work, but now they have to come home and take care of the domestic chores. And they're already tired from putting in a full day's work. Um, and that can be stressful, um, especially like they're coming home and they want a nice hot meal to eat because, you know, they've been working all day and, and now uh, they have to prepare a meal. And um, so that can be very challenging. Um, so far, my husband has been doing great with trying to be supportive. He does get stressed out and, you know, um, understandable because, like I said, they work all day. And uh, to have to come home and, and do chores because I can't do them um, can be a tad stressful. And so um, that's hard around the house at times. Tempers flare um, and things like that. Words are said because um, it is stressful. It's stressful for the person who can't do anything and it's stressful for the people who have to pick up the slack for that individual. But on the flip side of that, um, you have to remember and everybody has to remember it's a it's a group effort to deal with uh, chronic issues whether you have fibromyalgia whether you have chronic fatigue syndrome whether you're dealing with cancer and the treatments um, you're anemic uh, you have MS um, all sorts of, of debilitating diseases and disorders that um, make it hard for somebody to function on a daily basis um, you have to remember that you can only do so much but what you do is you do it to the best of your ability <clears throat> and that's the biggest point is that you're doing what you can to the best of your ability and then you have to leave the the rest um, let it go one of the things that gets me through this um, time when I'm having a real up and down moment emotionally because like I said this is really stressful is I remember 2 Corinthians 12, 9, where the uh, Lord's talking to Paul after Paul has asked the Lord to take away something that's been bothering him. And it's, he's asked three times, and uh, all three times the Lord has said no. And the Lord finally says to Paul, My grace is sufficient for you. In your weakness, my strength is made perfect. And so Paul takes a step back and is like, wow, that's, that's powerful. When I'm feeling so weak and discouraged and I'm dealing with whatever it is, that's when the Lord's strength really shines through. And so Paul responds in thought, well, that's cool, you know, that, that um, and I, I would rather glorify in my infirmities so the Lord can be shown. And um, so that's kind of important for me is um, when I'm having those weak days, um, which happens a lot, but when I'm emotionally weak and when I'm drained, when I just feel like I want to throw in the towel, and yesterday was one of those days, um, I have to remember that um, 
in my weakness, the Lord's glorified because he's the one who's getting me through this. And um, I can do all things through him. And sometimes all those things means just simply relaxing and being able to just accept the fact that I'm not able to do anything today. So um, that is just my word of encouragement today. Um, a little tidbit of the daily struggles I deal with. Um, I'm not sure how my gardening adventure is going to go next year. Um, I'm trying not to look too far into that um, because I know I can only chew off a little bit at a time. So we'll think about that later um, as it gets closer and I'll keep you guys updated. Um, but I hope that this gives you guys some kind of encouragement if you're dealing with a chronic ailment of some type that just uh, whips your butt and uh, you know you're just so discouraged. I get discouraged too but then um, I have to remember that um, the Lord gets me through this and the support of my family and my church family. Uh, support networks are very important when you're dealing with uh, chronic issues like this. So um, if you're dealing with something, uh, I hope this gives you encouragement. I hope that you're able to get some answers to help you uh, find the best treatment uh, options uh, to get you through. So I hope I thank you so much for watching and I hope no matter where you are that you are having a blessed day. Take care everybody. Bye.